Good morning guys, it is Wednesday in the morning. We just had breakfast and now we're gonna go to downtown to get some cash and then we have to go get his haircut. I also want to go down to the beach that they have here because Bournemouth is right like on a beach area. So I definitely want to check that out. If you can tell, I uh, slept with this hairstyle because I danced tomorrow as well and it was expensive. So I'm saving money, it's completely fine. So if you are ever getting your hair done and you're competing for a couple days in a row with like a day or two in between, sleep on it. It is so worth it. It is very cold outside today. It's like a lot colder than it was yesterday. That's a little OTD after it focuses and some black high-waisted jeans my lovely boots and this very nice white sweater from eddie bauer and it's super super warm and it's made out of cotton very nice for this weather i also feel like i never properly gave like a room tour or anything a view out of our hotel room and it's very ugly but that doesn't matter there are two beds there is a hallway and a door closet bathroom very small you really don't need anything else in a hotel room, so it's totally fine. Also, my dance teacher says that black hotel rooms are a lot smaller. So apparently this is a really nice hotel for England, and I think it is. It is a very nice hotel room. my eyebrows are we are back at the hotel room and i went to go shop some more clothes on sale for affordable prices and i'm gonna do a little continuation of my haul if you haven't seen my first part of this haul from uh primark please go watch that and this is not sponsored at all but if you're primark watching this please do sponsor me your clothes is actually amazing i think my favorite clothing brand and we will start off this haul with this very lovely olive green sweatshirt that I'm gonna try on for you right now. I'm going to try and not kill my hairstyle in the process. Try on haul, I guess. Looks lovely with sweats. Um, I might wear this right now to go practice in because that is our plan before we stay and watch pro ballroom and amateur Latin tonight. Since we compete tomorrow again, beautiful color, only for 10 euros. That's like what, like $12? Literally steal. Next up, we have these absolutely gorgeous leggings and they have like the prettiest pattern on them. They were also 10 euros. Then I have a sweatshirt for my dear sister that says, um, not interested. Very pretty color. Uh, you're welcome, Abelina. Then I got two, um, like, ribbed cropped t-shirts for 230 euros. Both like this. One's for my sister, one's for me. So they're two different sizes. Lovely, nice mustard yellow color. Also same exact shirt. And last but not least, I got myself a pair of jeans that are high-waisted and they're very nice denim material. These are gorgeous and they were, you will never guess, they were only three euros. I'm not lying, literally three. But, uh, yeah, after this very nice stuff and then i also have a bag of the stuff that i bought on monday make sure you watch all of the parts of this vlog i do very different things every day i hope they're interesting i try to make them interesting but we're gonna head to practice before we eat also what is this i don't know what that is this looks gorgeous this is very much a fattening dinner for two ballroom dancers it is big gains they're happening Right here right now uh, 
hello guys we have just finished watching other people dance pro ballroom specifically and amateur latin so i'm wearing like a little shimmery sweater dress we are dancing tomorrow at 10. i am very in headache left forehead pain and really want to sleep we need to pack because we are having weird hotel stuff tomorrow our flight is on friday I was feeling sick, I had a headache, which is why I went up to the practice room to get some ibuprofen and drink some water. I have never experienced this before ever at a competition. Usually I am very calm and composed and I don't get nervous or anxious, but at this time my anxiety levels were rising and I was just not having a good time. It might have been from all of the overwhelming emotions that I had while dancing and being there on a very low amount of sleep as well. Um, I think all of it together just kind of had an effect on me that I have never experienced But it's good for me to know that such large competitions can do this to you Especially when you're faced with the stress and I mean you're dancing with so many high-level couples on the dance floor Um, currently eating lunch He's having some overnight oats. We do not speak of our dance results. <laughs> that will remain uh, anonymous. But uh, we are now done dancing. So we stay here till 11 and then we have to drive to a different hotel because for whatever reason, I don't know, our dance coach planned that, but yes.
are on the plane right now. I know I did not record anything. I don't know since what point. It just got like too much and I was tired and I was like, I can't do this anymore. But I will do a little nice uh, recap of our trip. The pros and the cons of the UK. Some things that I learned while dancing on the UK floor. She's not stealing her large electronics. During takeoff. Well, my favorite part of the trip was obviously dancing, but like on Tuesday because I don't know, it was like a very different like feel. I can't explain. I liked walking around England, the city that we were in. It was, it was a cute little city. Least favorite part? Not being able to sleep for like the first two nights, like at all. What about you? What about me? You're a highlight of the trip. Oh, highlight of the trip? Probably the evening sessions, watching the professional dance, that was really cool. Oh yeah. Um, because they're a lot better than us, obviously. The low light was constantly not eating enough and being hungry and also not sleeping and it was just a great time for my body. But now the plan is we fly and we, we're flying back to Canada. We're driving back to our coach's house, sleeping there, and then the next morning there is like a local comp and he's dancing and makes proficiency with like his student there. I'm not sure how much sleep we'll get. It was a very, very memorable trip. Very much enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to comment um, anything. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and also follow our dance Instagram. Make sure to subscribe. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Happy birthday oh to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs>